Welcome to this series that I'm going to start called Editing a Reel from Scratch in DaVinci Resolve. In this series, I'm going to show you how to create a reel from scratch. So for this, I have not selected any graphics. I have not planned anything. This is just going to be me doing this from zero, you can say. So everything that I do from selecting the assets to adding the captions the graphics and all of that stuff that would be like on the go so you can get familiar with the process of how to edit a reel from scratch in this way this is the first video of this series in which i'm just going to walk you through how to select a footage how to set up a project and the basic stuff basically the first thing is to select your footage. Now, if you are a content creator and you already have your footages, that's good that you can just use that. Otherwise, I do have this footage, which I will also link in the description that you can download and then use to follow along with this tutorial series. So this is just a random video I found on YouTube regarding this person called Andrew Huberman. And he was talking about his faith in God. So. I found it interesting and decided to make a short video out of that and decided to record the whole process. I haven't edited anything. I haven't decided anything yet. Just this footage. I have already cut this into small pieces. So that's something that you need to do on your own if you're doing your own clips, your own footages. But otherwise, I already have this exported as an MP4 file for you to download. So we don't need to go over that. We just need to dive into the editing process. Now, the second thing I need you to know is the folder structure. So over here, as you can see, I have this folder and this is the main folder editing area from scratch, which I created for this tutorial series. Now, in this, it's better to organize your different files into folders. So right now I have a folder called footages in which I have this footage, the edited version and even the long form content. So you can create a separate folder for your footages, the raw footages, and even you can place your edited versions in them as well. So the way I did that, I will just let you know, is that the way I did it was that I found this video on YouTube and then I imported it in DaVinci Resolve and then I created a timeline. So the timeline settings, let me just show you. This timeline settings were just like we do for shorts. It, 1080 by 1920 so this is the vertical resolution you need this for all your you can say short form content basically so make sure you do that and then drag in your footage on the timeline and start making cuts and finding the right uh you can say portions of the video that you can make a short form content based on so next thing is also to and this folder i have is just for recording so this is just for the tutorial recordings that i'm doing you don't need to create this folder the other folders that you do need to create are let's say the script maybe you have a script and you need to add captions to your video so you can create a script separate file for that uh, usually what i do is i create script and voiceover so i do this script and voiceover because i need to add them in one folder those are the raw footages you can say raw assets that I start from, but in this one, we already have the footage, so we don't need the voiceover for this. So we're just going to create a folder called script, and I will show you how to convert this footage that we have. And by the way, this is the footage that you will find from the link in the description. So make sure you download that. Once you have that, I will show you how to change or generate a script uh, for the captions from this video. Uh, right now, just create a folder called script. The next folder will be assets. And over here, we will add any asset that we, that we find for, that we think that can be used in our video. So assets folder, and then one I do is renders. So different versions for renders. You can create a folder for that. And uh, I think this is pretty much it, yes. So let's just start with this. Over here, you can also create bins. There's also one way to add bins directly over here, but me personally, I like to keep the way the folder structures in DaVinci Resolve are different from my file structure. But 
let me just show you so you can create a new folder basically by pressing Control shift and n at the same time so this will give you the option to rename as well so let's just type in footages and just move your footages right here okay and also let's create an assets folder let's also create a sounds so sounds or audio usually i type in audio so let's go with audio so these are the different folders that we have initially that we're going to be using one other thing i also do is i make a different folder for timeline as well so you can also create a folder for timeline as well now let's go over to the timeline and right click create a new timeline and this these are the project settings that we need now vertical resolution and let's rename the timeline to footage now the reason i'm doing it this way is so that we can drag our footage right here and we can do some editing on the footage so for example you have a reel done you have your recording done you already have this long form content shortened into a short form content and by the way this is 55 seconds so you need if you need to add any effects on the footage directly you can do that over here it's better to separate them now let me just uh, full screen this and you can see that the quality is not that good so the quality Already. is not that good because i downloaded it in not a good resolution so we can what we can do is just add a old school effect you can say a, a vintage effect basically so for that let's just go ahead and let's check what we have so we do have this vintage texture but we, we can use this but I would rather not use this because we do need this to if you're going to use any texture it's better to use it later on so that's just my preference you can use it by the way but I'm just showing you what you can do right now you can also do color grading so you can go over to the color grading tab okay so we have some effects I think uh, we can use one of the effects from here the film damage effect so this is the kind of effect that you can add on your footage and now you can already see that it's giving us or it's matching our footage rather yeah but let's make some changes so we'll see later on what we can do by the way this that's the advantage of having this in a separate timeline so that you can add effect later on as well or remove effect later on and that makes it easy basically okay so i'm going to stop the video here this was just the initial setup uh, how we got our footage in effects that we can do timelines the structure and all of that in the next video we're going to see how to take this further so for now take care and i'll see you in the next video